Ahead of the Japanese Grand Prix, Mercedes aren't actually preparing any modification to their W13. With five races left to the end of the season, FIA delayed announcement of the investigation's result made after allegation accusing Red Bull and another Formula 1 team of cheating last year, passing over the budget cap which probably means the title they won wasn't actually deserved. But after the Singapore Grand Prix, Mercedes engineers and technical staff found a very suspicious element in their car and I think it had been the major part causing the team's issues this year. What is this special element? And how could Mercedes engineers make such a mistake? Stick around guys, let's find out more about this. So Mercedes claims they finally found mistakes that condemned their 2022 season. Mercedes technical staff and engineers declared having precisely pointed the one moment last year where they made a fundamental mistake that set the team on a course for what they called a tricky 2022 Formula 1 season with all the troubles they faced with the W13 car. Mercedes have been totally dominating Formula 1 championships for the whole past 8 years. Teams were unable to catch Mercedes drivers. No one could actually. Mercedes wasn't capable to win a single race this year. Ferrari started leading the championship at the beginning, but Red Bull fast took the first position and could keep it until now and statistically will be able to maintain it to the end of the season. The whole Formula 1 community waited for a surprising comeback from the Rackley squad. However, the team was struggling and this was too evident. Even with the car upgrades they kept introducing, things weren't actually changing in a very good direction. It was more like weak and slow for what Silver Arrows used to show. For the first time since 2011, the team will finish the season without a single race win. And since 2007 with McLaren, Lewis Hamilton didn't miss a race win each season. But this year, with just few races left, he apparently don't have a chance with his W13 compared to the Red Bull's RB18. The 37 years old Brighton said he's focused on the car to help his team improve it and understand it better, finding that not winning races is what actually matters for him, but records aren't such a big deal. I'm not focused on the record, but of course, I'm trying to get that win this year. But the record is not important to me, just because I don't really care about records in general. Mercedes' struggle this year was real. No one could have imagined this few years before. Silver Arrows are finishing third in the Constructors' Championship behind championship leaders Red Bull and Scuderia Ferrari. Some analysts take it for a temporary issue that could be certainly fixed in 2023. Others aren't that much sure. They think Mercedes won't be able to manage its problem with a new car's concept very soon, and 2023 might be similar to this year's nightmare. However, a huge secret was discovered this week in the team's garage. Mercedes engineers found the reason behind their car's lack of performance and pace, especially on low downforce tracks. Adding to this, the car's bouncing, which prevented Lewis Hamilton of racing the way he used to do and caused him some serious health issues. Not being able to win a single race made the team's engineers work hard inside the team's garage to discover some more details about the car and flaws caused by mistakes they will be unable to correct. According to Mercedes technical director Mike Elliott, the team could develop the car in a very encouraging way, improving from race to another and correcting mistakes every time. You look at how we developed the car, and I can point to one moment in time last year where we did something where I think we made a mistake. What you're seeing in terms of performance and the way it swings from race to race is a consequence of that, and that's a mistake we've known about for a while, and something we've been correcting, and that's why our performance has gradually got better. However, Elliot continued talking to the same podcast F1's Beyond the Grid, saying that fixing such flaws won't be easy and takes time to be fully correct. But it's not something we can fully correct for a little while yet, and we will do over the winter. Elliot didn't get into the exact details of the mistake, but analyzing what he said, it's believed to be related to the design of the floor, particularly the exposed part of it, explaining at the same time how Formula 1's former benchmark team saw a loophole that led the team to its unusual zero side part concept. Elliot explained that comparing between concepts can be possible without testing them both on the core. With a loophole, you go through the winter and you look at and think, has anybody else spotted it? Is someone else going to turn up with it? While it looks like visually very different. As always, with these things, it's about opening up small aerodynamic advantages. Without going and running development on the concept we've got and running development on a different concept, it's hard to know what will be worth at the end. Mercedes technical director clarified some essential elements about the team's strategy concerning the car's shape and the side pods, concluding that this difference in design between the W13 and their rival's cars was just adding a little advantage for Mercedes comparing to other teams which wasn't sufficient. But it wasn't a game changer in the learning we found this year. It's less about the shape of the car, it's more about the way we approach the development of the car. That's where the difference lies. When you look at the side pods, people say it looks very different. That must work completely different to the rest of the cars. And it doesn't, it's just a slightly different solution aerodynamically. I don't think it's a massive departure from the other cars. It's just something that adds a little bit of performance for us. 
Previously, the Mercedes initial car concept made a real controversy during the F1's official Bahrain preseason test as it appeared to go against the spirit of the regulations. Mike Elliott stated that the FIA was so surprised by the Mercedes special concept produced and explained that is quickly determined to be a legal concept and made some speculation at the time over its legality. For next year, the team didn't actually announce its final decision whether it will continue to pursue this concept or pivot closer to the concept run by 2022's benchmark team, Red Bull, as Williams and McLaren did earlier this year. The aerodynamicists come up with the idea, we took another group of people, generally run by our chief designer, that will go and look for themselves and see if they can shut it down before the test was shown to the FIA. We discussed it with them. Their first reaction was, ah, that's not what we attended, and they worked through it as well to see whether they can challenge it. Now that Mercedes are almost sure about the real reason behind this substandard season for an 8 time Constructors World Champion team leaded by the 7 times World Champion driver, would the team's designer develop a new concept or design, or maybe they will keep the current one and try to improve it every time? What will the team's designer and technical staff change on this year's concept for the coming season? Tell us your predictions in the comments section below and your opinion about the mistake the team made and costed them this season. That was all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.